Hello everyone, and welcome to a quick guide to crowd control in Smite, ideal for new players. So first of all, what is crowd control? Crowd control, or CC, is any one or multiple negative effects applied to your character from an enemy ability, item, or passive that apply for a set period of time. They can dictate team fights and turn fights in an instant, so understanding them can be the difference between winning and losing. Before we go into them, I need to mention diminishing returns. This is a safety mechanism built into Smite that prevents you being hit with multiple CCs in quick succession that would make some combinations impossible to defend. When you are hit with a CC, you gain one stack of diminishing returns, up to a maximum of three. These stacks reduce the duration of subsequent CCs. So if you were hit with a one second stun, and then by another one second stun, you would not be stunned for two seconds. The second stun would only stun you for 66% of its duration and any subsequent CCs would only apply for 33% of their duration. What's important to note is that some CCs apply a stack of diminishing returns but do not get affected by it. For example, Kepri's grab has a fixed duration but applies a stack, so if you grab and root an opponent, the root would only apply for 66%, however if you root but then grab the opponent, they will apply for the maximum duration. So combo abilities like this wisely. The CCs that apply a stack of diminishing returns but are not affected by them are pulls, grabs, knockups, and knockbacks. So, the full list of all CCs in Smite. Stun, the most powerful CC. It leaves you completely helpless. You can't move, perform any abilities, or basic attacks. Root, hold your character in place. You cannot walk, but you can perform movement-based abilities such as leaps, dashes, and teleports. Cripple. You can walk, but you cannot perform any movement-based abilities. Disarm. You lose the ability to basic attack. Silence. You cannot perform any ability, but you can still perform basic attacks and move. Knock up. You are knocked into the air and cannot perform any ability, basic attack, or move in any direction. You are effectively stunned. Unless you are Jingwei, of course, who can fly away. Slow. Your movement speed is slowed, however you can still perform movement abilities. Knockback. Your character is hard displaced and pushed away from an opponent. Pull. Your character is hard displaced and pulled in towards an opponent. Mesmerize, or Mez. Your character is placed into a stun, but is released if you take any form of damage. Grab. The enemy grabs onto you and pulls you in towards them. Taunt. You lose control of your character and they walk towards the taunting enemy. Fear. You lose control of your character and walk away from the fearing enemy. Blind. You lose vision by your screen being obstructed, however this is the only effect. Vortex. A slow pull towards the centre of an area, however you can still walk out or use a movement ability to escape. Banish. You are effectively removed from the game for a duration. You cannot do or be dealt any damage. Intoxicate. Your vision is temporarily affected and your character walks around erratically. Polymorph. You are turned into a random beast. You lose full control and walk erratically. You are also slowed and cannot attack or use any abilities. Slippy Surface. You lose directional control of your character and will slide in a straight line over the area. You are slowed, but you can still use abilities and basic attacks. Tremble. You can walk, but erratically in the area. And finally, Madness. You lose full control of your character and will either attack a nearby ally with basic attacks, or if no ally is near, you will walk towards the enemy as if you were taunted. Now we have the CCs covered, let's go through how we can defend ourselves. Firstly, you can buy items that reduce your crowd control. This will reduce the duration of any crowd control by a set amount. For example, Bulwark of Hope gives 20% crowd control reduction, so any crowd control you are hit with will be reduced in duration by 20%. This effect from items caps at 40%. You can also buy Magi's Blessing, which is an item that absorbs one hard crowd control with a 70 second cooldown. Hard crowd control is any crowd control that is not a root, cripple, vortex, blind, or slow. Finally, we move on to CC immunity. CC immunity is signified by your god glowing yellow. This means that god is completely immune to being affected by crowd control 
and they will remove any current crowd control applied to them. CC immunity can be achieved by some abilities, ultimates in the game, or by using certain relics. Any ultimate or ability that has CC immunity during its duration will tell you in the ability description. Or of course you can check by seeing if your character glows yellow when performing it. Beads is the most common way to apply CC immunity, as it can be activated at any time unless you are currently knocked up. It's a relic that can quite literally save your life and is essential to escape some abilities. You can use beads to escape a CC or, if timed correctly, prevent you from being affected by one. Other relics and other items also apply CC immunity, but usually to only specific CCs, such as Sprint or Wing Blade will both make you immune to slows. Knowing when to use beads is an essential skill, so get practicing. That's all of the basics of CCs covered as quickly as possible, so good luck out there.